Jesse Williams, welcome, uh, welcome to the show. Thank uh, you. Uh, well, um, wow. Yeah, I got I took it off. You're a brave man. I would feel like a naked mole rat if I did that. <laughs> would you? That, it does not. It does not suit me. No. But you're you're wearing it well. Well, I, I I I think you are a very sexy man. You can. Uh, that you escalated do quickly. Yeah. You can do anything. Well, <laughs> You can do anything with that. I, 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 I have. I yeah. need something. I, I know. Something. I don't. I, I tried that full thing, and now I don't know. I just go to extremes. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to be to be sitting next to such a handsome man after such a well, change. Nice, so live, live change. It's kind of like Broadway. You're just out here, yeah. just, just risking it all. Exactly, just risking it all. Yeah, just do it. Hey, by the way, I just heard that you got cast in Only Murders in the Building. Season yeah. Three. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. What do you know about that? I, go, I don't. I don't. I don't know a lot. We actually have a table read next week. I'm I'm over the moon. I mean, Martin Short, Steve Martin. It's I grew up like sneaking down the stairs to watch them on Saturday Night Live over my mom's shoulder. Like that was their really? absolute. Was legends. TV a, yeah. big, a big thing for you growing up? We were not really allowed to watch TV. Well, we had a, we had a system. It's actually quite admirable. I think about it now as a parent. My mom would cut like four cardboard squares that represented a half hour of television, and you get four half hour blocks of television a week, and you put them in a jar when you use them. You can use them whenever you want. You can, you, I use them for Saturday morning cartoons, pretty much. And like, <laughs> yeah. then when The Simpsons came out, like The Simpsons. The, but I was not allowed to watch SNL, but I would like sneak down the stairs and what my mom always watched, my parents always watched bonus SNL, and I, would, and I would get the bonus, right. and I would watch, you know, Ed Grimley and the synchronized swimming and yeah. wild and, and crazy guys, guys, and now I get to work with them, so Come I'm, on, buddy, I'm that's excited. All that. I'm pretty excited. That's great, yeah. I love that. Yeah. You were, a lot of people know you from, from Grey's Anatomy. Sure. And uh, do, do, do people, uh, when, you, when you're doing Broadway, do they, do they say hi to you after the show? And they're like, hey, we just came because we're Grey's Anatomy. Grey's There's Anatomy. a lot of Grey's fans at the stage door. It's, it's kind of a, one cool thing, I, I think, is that it's bringing a lot of folks from all over the world, surprisingly, that have never seen a Broadway play coming to see it because they're big fans of Grey's. And, you know, we have fans that are 12 and 72. I mean, we have the whole, we have four generations of... Yeah. Folks, primarily women, who come and see the <laughs> come and see the show, um, yeah. and they come. Yeah, I'm from Chile, and we love the show, and we just wanted to come because they know there they're going to see you in real life. Yeah, they know that they can stand there. I don't want to uh, solicit this because uh, it's a lot of people, but like they can stand in one spot, and I'm going to be there every night. And it's, yeah. so it's a pretty cool experience for them, and it's a hell of a show, honestly. So so I'm excited. And you're about you're it. back doing it. I mean, this is yeah, it takes so much work, expected. by the way, to do a Broadway play. I mean, it's just. Any any Broadway play, but especially what you're doing in this role, it's unbelievable. Did you have a second thought where you're like, I don't know if I, I, if I could physically can come back and do this? Well, I mean, when we were almost done the first run earlier this year, they came to my dressing room. I remember our director, Scott Ellis, incredible director, came to our dressing room and asked, you know, do we, it was probably May, do you want to, they're talking about extending it because it was a big success. It went really well. Yeah. And I, it's such an emotionally exhausting role. It's just so, it just beat the hell out of me. I was just like, no, get out of my dressing room. Like, no, <laughs> I'm, like, no, I'm tired. This. I'm uh, tired. I want, yeah. I could not wait to, I loved it, but I needed, it was, exactly. it was beating the hell out of me. I got a summer with my kids. I got to kind of decompress, get some perspective. And it was just still in me. I was running the lines. I was still, it was just, you carry it with you. In the summer. Uh, for Yeah, throughout. I was still running the lines, working around the house, messing around. It was, and I just, we left on such a high. I knew we had more in the tank, and we just, well, how rare, like you just said, it's such a rare opportunity. Yeah. Once in a lifetime to be able to, to be the lead in a Broadway play with incredible actors. Our, this, this, this company is so fantastic. When do you get a chance to do that again? I'm, that's not promised. But so. also, here's, here's your Little League team. I just want to take a look oh. at you. And, yeah, there you are there. Uh, and, now, yeah. and now here you are wearing a uniform. I was tan. I had a little, yeah, you were, color yeah. back then. Uh, but here you are wearing a uniform on Broadway. Yeah, and did, yeah. Did you ever think this kid would be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be playing a... I, I think at that point, I thought I could play in the major league. Yeah, real I big. Was, I'm going to be a real, not an I actor baseball player. Yeah, and then second to that, I will fake, I'll be a fake player or a real player, <laughs> uh, was the hope. But... Uh, can we talk to us about, what is uh, Take Me Out? Can you tell everyone? Yeah, Take about? Me Out, uh, it follows uh, essentially kind of like um, the New York Yankees. It is uh, the best player on the best team, championship winning uh, team at the height of his career with everything uh, ahead of him. He's on top of the world, and with, to, to a, as a surprise to everyone, he comes out as gay. Doesn't didn't warn anybody, and the play begins just in the immediate aftermath math of that, and it's just an examination of male relationships after a word is said, because nothing 
um, behaviorally tra changes about this player. He's the alpha on the team, alpha in the league. He doesn't. There's no. There's no. There's no kind of affectation or gimmick for men to hide behind with their like homophobia and the yep. disorientation around. It's not like well. It's cool, but I wish he didn't do this, or I wish he didn't talk like that, or I wish he, I'm not doing anything. It's just how men struggle to handle a relationship, and what is a relationship if you can't be your true self in front of each other? And it's um, and there's a lot of growth, and it's very much an homage to baseball. And I grew up playing baseball, you know, year round. It was very, very sacred in our household. A yeah. huge bonding experience for me and my father. Me too. Um, I, I definitely. I definitely was conscious of doing, choosing to do the role as part of an homage to my dad and like our relationship. Did and he get to see you in the role? He's been two, two twice already, and he's really? coming. Yeah, he's coming again. What does he think? Yeah, he loved it. He loved it, and uh, you know, he complimented the swing. You know, he approved. <laughs> he approved of the mechanics. You like your yeah, stance? Yeah, he's, he's like, yeah, a, I taught you well. He's a mechanics guy, and uh, but no, he he loved it, and. Um, it's a, it's a it's a hell of a play. It's really really compelling. So uh, you're I, fantastic in it, and I'm happy that you're here. Good luck in the uh, uh, season. So only Thank you. Come Thank back, you. please. Thank you, Jesse Williams, take me out is playing at the Schoenfeld Theater through February 5th. We'll be right back with Stanford from Mary Max. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.